The universe. It is large. Incredibly large. Some would even go so far as to say that it is infinite in size, though others disagree. Still, so large is the universe that I simply cannot fit it all into just one video. And so, for now at least, let us zoom in somewhat. That's our galaxy. Already we've come quite a bit closer, but let's travel a little further inwards. This is sufficient. Our solar system. A star named Sol that is orbited by various pieces of debris, including a number of planets. But just what makes a planet a planet? What defines a planet? This is actually a topic that, not too long ago, was the subject of some contention, as we did not have a thorough and rigorous way of saying, this is definitely a planet, but this is not. That was until 2006, when the International Astronomical Union came together and definitely stated that a celestial body must meet three criteria in order to be classed as a planet. It must be in orbit around a sun. It must have sufficient mass such that its self-gravity forces it into a nearly round shape. And finally, it must have cleared the neighbourhood around its orbit. This means that the body must be gravitationally dominant in its path. Objects that do not meet the aforementioned criteria are, unfortunately, not planets. However, if they meet the first two criteria, but not the final one, there is some hope. Whilst these bodies cannot be called true planets, they can be classified as dwarf planets. One such body meeting these requirements is, controversially for some reason, Pluto. The reason that Pluto is no longer considered a planet is that it is not gravitationally dominant. Its neighbourhood is shared with objects in the Kuiper belt that, in some cases, rival its gravitational pull, and, thusly, Pluto is, and never truly was, a planet. Not only that, but there are several objects in our solar system that, were Pluto to be considered a planet, would also be brought into the planetary pantheon. One of the objects in the Kuiper belt that has destroyed Pluto's planetary standing, for instance, is another dwarf planet named Maki Maki. Huamea resides in the area beyond Neptune, and is thus, fittingly, called a Plutoid. Ceres is the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system, residing between Mars and Jupiter, and was actually the first celestial object classified as a dwarf planet. Although these three objects are all smaller than Pluto, our final body, Eras, is actually more massive meaning that if any of these bodies deserves to be called a planet, surely it would be Eras. It is also the most distant known natural object in our solar system. Pluto also has the honour of being one of the few bodies in our solar system that is actually in a binary system of some form. Charon, Pluto's largest moon, is large enough compared to the dwarf it is paired with that the pairing is said, by some scientists, to be a dwarf double planet. Instead of orbiting its planet in the same way that our moon orbits the Earth, Charon and Pluto instead rotate around a point between them, known as the Barry Centre. Locked in such a way that the same point on Charon always faces Pluto, and the same point on Pluto always faces Charon. 
Jonathan Coulton wrote a song about the demise of Pluto's planetary status, as well as its binary status with Charon, named I'm Your Moon. It is very pretty. I think you would like it. Much like Jonathan Coulton, Pluto is still, by and large, a mystery. There are a great number of things that we simply do not know about its physical being, and we shan't until the earliest, at 2015, when New Horizons flies past. Until then, though, about Pluto being a planet? Well, we believe a lot of things when we are younger. Hey everybody, thank you for making it to the end of another one of my videos. I personally could not be happier with how that went, and I'm pretty sure that you agree. If I'm right, you should click the like button, which is just down here, and you should also click the share button, it can be found down there too, and there's one up here somewhere maybe? Anyway, if you would like to watch last week's video on a topic completely different to this one, you should click in the area that is over here. If you want to subscribe to my channel and be notified whenever I post anything, you should click over here. Anyway guys, I will see you next week.